hi guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video i will walk you guys over i'll give you guys like a few tips or few caution that uh that you might see using uh tretrinoin cream which is also known as uh retin-a cream um over here the one i use is by aubergine and it's 0 0.05 percent if you can see it yeah so um and then uh this prescription medicine comes with a, like a really nice brochure and then um, you might not read it like any other medication, um, but like, you know, so I'll just walk you guys, like, you know, I'll just give you guys some um, what's written over here. Um, I have been using this medication for years now. And then, so I know about all these and I have experienced some of this myself. So I know how important it is um, to practice like, you know, this caution, cautionary. So one of the thing, the first one I would say is that, um, um this is an acne medication to clean your acne but in the same time over the period of years we have found out is that it has other benefit it's excellent for collagen production and then uh it helps with hyperpigmentation it helps with like you know skin discoloration acne scar acne marks uh age spot liver spot uh sun spot so um you will definitely see like you know other benefits so um now my number one would be is that uh limit the exposure of sun in the laboratory they have tested it on mice and they have noticed is that when the mice are on tetrinoin cream or retin-a cream um if they're exposed to artificial sunlight they tend to grow more skin tumor like you know it get kind of like you know um yeah they like you know develop skin tumor so i think it's the same thing applicable can be for <clears throat> it can be applicable for us human too <clears throat> so definitely always wear like you know very high dose of spf and then uh don't go to the beach don't take sun bath like you know don't go play outside don't go play volleyball or like you know just limit your exposure to the sun once you're of the cream off you go like you know always but definitely always use like you know um sun uh sun protection so that's my number one definitely uh like you know apply sunscreen on your face when you are on this cream and limit the exposure to the sun um like you know i personally have done bad things like you know i went for gardening uh even though i was on the cream and then at the end of the gardening day i noticed that, like my skin is like just red so um it says over here it's sometimes you will get like you no know, sunburn if you um if you increase the chances of sunburn if you are on this cream and going out too much in the sun so that's number one number two is like um don't wash your face too much because uh otherwise it irritates your skin and then <clears throat> it kind of like you know you will see that your skin turns red very painful it also happened to me but a long time ago so uh yeah like you know don't try to wash your skin too much or like you know uh, put too much pressure onto it um like you know kind of like you know scrub it too much use a lot of soap use a lot of shampoo or like you know other cosmetics so try to avoid like you know water like you know washing too much face or like irritating with other uh, chemicals now number three would be is that it is a complete no-no if you are trying to get pregnant or if you are pregnant. So um, there was one time like, you know, I was pregnant. I think it was my first trimester, And then I went to the doctor and I said like, you know, I need some tretinoin cream. And the doctor said, no, this is not for you right now. After you like, you know, um, deliver the baby, go for it. But right now um, it's not. So like, you know, if you look at the brochure right over here, it says right over here, if you are pregnant, yes. So yeah, it's a complete no-no if you are um, if you are pregnant, and then um, mm, yeah. So these are a couple of cautions I had: avoid using like you know too much alcohol-based toiletries like shampoos or conditioner or like you know. Uh, 
how would I say like you know cosmetics so yeah so uh, and then sunscreen and avoid if you're pregnant and then washing too much so these are a couple of cautions you have otherwise like you know if you are planning on taking this um, medication for any any kind of a skin problem I usually apply it for everything like if I have scar anywhere or any kind of mark anywhere treachery cream to the rescue so um but like you know if you are planning on using oh uh, the thing is that if you are if you are using it for acne be patient because what this cream does is that it goes under you very deep under your skin and it takes some time to clean up everything everything that's under the skin so when you are using this cream you might see your acne kind of like you know flare up or like you know like you know you will see too much acne on the first few weeks you're using this cream but don't get disappointed don't get discouraged it will clean up and then it will clean up for like you know for long for longer period of time so um and then you will definitely see like you know very good results in few weeks even if like if if you go over uh this brochure if you can read it it says right over here it takes like you know 6 to 12 weeks so that's about like 3 months um like you know month and a half to three months so be patient when you are this is an excellent acne uh management medicines but you need to be patient okay guys so these are a couple of things i had for you guys and then um yeah um but like you know this is an excellent cream if you are doing any kind of like you know skin management and i highly suggest it okay guys take care and um happy skin bye